So hi, my name is Dominica. I'm a sales representative at UXV Technologies. We're here together with Matt at Soft Week in Tampa, Florida, 2025. And behind me, I have their unit Bullfrog that they're using the S-Frog for. So Matt, could you tell us a bit about your product? I'm Matt Craig, the Director of Product Success for Allen Control Systems. And what I have behind me here is the Bullfrog Autonomous Counter UAS System. It is the only completely passive counter UAS system on the market right now. We use legacy weapon systems to lower the cost per kill to around $10 per kill. The whole system weighs around 300 pounds, so it's extremely lightweight compared to numerous other systems that are similar to it. And the fact that we use legacy weapon systems also helps us to be able to decrease the training time that soldiers would need on figuring out how to use the system. It has multiple safety systems. It has both hard stops for the elevation and the traverse, the weapon safety itself, and you can actually utilize the SROC to tell it do not engage targets in this zone if you want to have a no fire zone. The system can spin at 400 degrees per second, so there's not too many drones that are going to get away from that. To control this, I know in most of the time the unit can be autonomous or fully autonomous. Can you tell us when would you use the controller in one case scenario? The Bullfrog, although it is an autonomous system and capable of being fully autonomous, similar to a CRAM, we choose to keep a human in the loop by using the SROC. And we chose the SROC because of its ease of use, because of the size of it, so a soldier or a user with gloves on could be able to manipulate it. And uh, it's also very rugged, so that if a soldier was to drop it or get out of the vehicle and it falls on the ground, we know we could pick it up, throw it back up in the seat, and it's gonna work and be uh, resilient next time we need it. And the screen is big enough so that whenever the human in the loop actually does hit the engage button, it's not something small that they have to figure out. So we also know what, that with the SROG you use our RG45 module and not any radio modules. Could you tell us a bit more about why and why is this your choice? Yeah, so as it is currently used, the system is completely passive. We want no signature to be out there. So we connect this with a tether and that makes it you know, unjammable and unbreakable. And the only way for the signal to be broken is if someone rips it out of the, the system. So it's rugged. Matt, thank you so much for your time and thank you for showing us uh, your product and how it works. Thank you for the support.